Hello, hello and welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel PharmaVan. In today's video, I will discuss about particle counts for the area classification. And before to that, we will understand when the first time the area was getting classified based on the number of particles. So, as per Federal Standard 209, FS 209, in 1963, for the first time, it was determined that the area can be classified based on the number of particles. And it was based on the 0.5 micron particles per feet cube and the areas were classified as class 100, class 1000, class 10,000, class 1 lakh. And these particles were like, when we say class 100, it means that it will be not more than 100 particles of 0.5 micron per feet cube. So this was the first time the area was classified based on the particle count as per FS209E and it was in 1963. Now let's understand in the current pharma world that how the area classifications are determined or what are the area classification limits based on the different guidelines and we will talk about three guidelines. One is EU Annex 1, second is US FDA guidance for industry September 2004 for, aseptic, for the sterile products manufactured by aseptic processing and ISO. So ISO is international standard, international guide based for the particle counts or which determines the area class area based on the number of particles per meter cube. And it will not define static or in operation, it just gives the ISO number that ISO 5, ISO 6, ISO 7, ISO 8, ISO 9. It will not define that it is static or in operation. However, EU NX1 clearly defines the particle limits based on the whether it is static or in operation and guidance for industry uses the reference of ISO 5 it also uses the both classifications like particle count per feet cube and particle count per meter cube it defines the both it uses the both numbers then it defines and, and, and relevant ISO classification in guidance for industry September 2004 so let's first understand ISO 5 or class 100. So when we say class 100, so EU NX1 tells it says a grade A. Guidance for industry September 2004 tells it as a class 100. So what is class 100? The not more than 100 particles of 0.5 micron per feet cube. When we and when we talk ISO 5, the same classification is in meter cube and the number of particles is like 3520. So when we say ISO 5, the particle count will be not more than 3520 of 0.5 micron per meter cube. So it's a simple multiplication of 35.2 when we are converting count from feet cube to meter cube. So when we say 100 as per guidance for industry September 2004, it is grade A as per EU NX1 and it is ISO 5 as per ISO guidelines. And the particle count is when we say in feet cube it is 100 and when we say, when we say in meter cube it is 3520 now let's go to grade b so eu nx1 tells is as a grade b the particle count limit is 352000 and when we say in, uh, when we say class 10000 as per guidance for industry september 2004 it is 10000 so and as per iso it is iso 7 so let's let's re recap. Grade B is class 10,000 as per guidance for industry September 2004. Grade B as per EU NX1 and 3,52,000 particles of 0.5 micron ISO 7. So this is the limits for the grade B and this is a, a limit for the as per EU. It is for the dynamic. All the limits I am discussing as per EU are in dynamic. At risk, it becomes a one classification better than the existing. For example, when I say grade C in operation, it will become grade B in static. Or the particle count of grade B will be applicable when we say grade C as a static. So le le let's recap grade B again. It will be class 10,000 at per September 2004. Uh, then 3,52,000 particles as per uh, in, in operation as per UN, uh, UNX1. And it is ISO 7 when we say ISO guideline. Now let's discuss grade C. So grade C is class 1 lakh. That is not more than 1 lakh particle of 0.5 micron per feet cube. And 
it will be 35 lakhs 20000 then we say particles in meter cube and its grade c as per eu nx1 grade c in operation and iso 8 when we say iso 8 so grade c is class 1 lakh or 35 lakhs 20000 particles per meter cube or iso 8 or grade c in operation is in eu nx1 and when we say grade d so eu nx1 doesn't define any limits for grade d in operation when we say grade d at static it has a limit of 35 lakh 20000 which is as per grade c so eu nx1 grade d there is no limit when in operation but the limit of grade c will apply for the static condition and it is the same like grade d is uh, uh, limit is uh, uh, it will we can say iso 8 at static so where, when grade d is in static the limit of iso 8 or class c will be applied so hope this small video will able to uh, like uh, confirm or understand that what are the different classifications and what are the limits as per the guidelines as per the guidance for the industry september 2004 iso and eu and xon so hope this small video helps you to understand more about the particle count within the area classification thank you thank you very much for watching my full video